All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan, and we are up to Clown World number 326. Boy, you think? No, we are up to 327. Oh, yeah, sorry. Forget that Brave needs a constant refresh because of the cash and all that stuff. <clears throat> so, uh, you know, I had a pretty good night's rest yesterday. I slept quite well. Must have been a good nine hours. Woke up late though, like 9.50 uh, a.m. I think, so uh, I had to make sure I did my uh, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes stuff. So uh, yeah, but I've also been listening a lot <clears throat> to Jesse Lee Peterson's church sessions, and it's actually really good. It's ha it ha has me completely like trying to like just change and like think about new things. So like the last thing, um, like yesterday was talking about how everything you do is kind of meaningless and then there's no one that's good right nobody is good because you have to do something uh <clears throat> you have to do things based on love which then which comes directly from god so it's kind of interesting he also said he also said that just doing good things isn't going to make you feel better you know kind of reminds me a lot like how you know you just make a pile of money and then it doesn't actually make you feel better. It'll relieve a lot of the temporary pressures. It's definitely something you should be doing, but it's not. It's not the end goal in it, in and of itself. That's that's kind of like because uh, that's what I had to go through. And that's what every rich person, funny enough, goes through. Uh, and that's why I want to teach you uh, the same thing, so that you don't go emotionally crazy as well. Uh, so it's just something I really have to think about. And then today he has. Like, I just started his church session, but it definitely answers, like, a lot of things I'm getting confused about. And then also, uh, he said, like, um, and I have to actually listen to this lesson again. So, like, I want to actually quickly finish this video so I could go back and listen to the whole thing. He actually said that um, if you try something and it doesn't happen, you should just be patient. And then if it continues to just not happen and then, you know, you give it a pretty good shot, then basically, you know, that's God telling you it was not meant to be. So you should be doing something else. So I find that kind of interesting. Uh, of course, nowadays, at least with what I like to do, it takes a long time for something to actually develop. So it's like, it, it's pretty, it's pretty confusing. And of course, it just goes back to like my whole bit shoot thing too, because I really do enjoy, you know, my political videos. But if I continue on my path of developing a game, well, I may not actually be able to do my political videos. They actually conflict with one another, right? Because, you know, like it's just going to alienate a lot of people, right? I mean, that's like the basic answer. The more the more truthful answer is it's going to piss off the people that are actually in charge of this world. You know, the shadow government, the deep state, the globalists, right? I'm not even allowed to name them anymore, right? And they're going to completely uh, fuck up the game. And if it fucks up the game, you know, you can kiss these uh, cryptocurrencies goodbye because that's going to be basically the primary first use case for these cryptos, right? So uh, it's like... Oh, what do I do, right? Eventually, I could go back to BitChute and then just, you know, you know, once they get their better processing servers, uh, and then just do it anyway. But I mean, you know, I have to, I have to really consider uh, some consequences of that. So it's like, what do I do, right? And I, I just get annoyed because I see people like, uh, like Jesse Lee Peterson interviewed a left wing guy that I don't like named Destiny. Apparently, they actually are kind of like friends ish, right? So they, um, whatchamacallit, so obviously Jesse Lee Pearson's like a conservative, uh, but really nice conservative Christian, you know, right wing guy, right, you know, uh, but he's one, uh, but he's very good with God. And then of course you have Destiny on the other side, who's basically like the antithesis of that. He's an atheist and, you know, it's just basically takes all the opposite positions. Uh, funny enough, he used to actually be a hardcore Republican. Uh, he actually said that on, on the interview yesterday, and that really surprised me. So I'm like, huh, wow. So what was the point of all that? Um, oh, yeah. So Destiny gets to basically say all his left-wing stuff without any real problems. But if I did the same thing on the right-wing uh, right side, we, we, we can't say shit. And then that's kind of like what pisses me off about the whole thing. So I don't know. But of course, God, you know, you're not supposed to be angry, too. So it's like I, I got to like juggle so much like stuff that I'm still thinking about. And of course, I'm still learning programming. So I'm up to like uh, I'm like halfway through my introduction to creating a 3D game uh, course. So 
Uh, it's like pretty crazy stuff. Actually, I should probably screenshot it sometimes. So I gotta show you some of the code. So maybe I'll think I'll or I think I'll do that later tonight, and then I'll just you know post it on uh, Twitter, and then we'll look at it tomorrow. All right. So anyway, not too many stories today, so that's actually a relief. Uh, so I guess first things first is uh, Bitcoin interest has been up just adjusted upwards to seven. So last week and this week it was uh, five. Now Google is adjusting it to seven. So they're really getting a lot of like uh, data adjustments here. Uh, I know it's the same thing kind of happens with uh, YouTube videos. Like these view counts fluctuate, and it's usually fluctuating downwards. I don't think it's censorship, so like, cause like I'm not going too crazy with the political uh, shit, right? And, well, in fact, I'm not actually uh, telling you, uh, you know, naming the names, right? Cause that's actually what gets you in trouble. So, uh, you know, and that's how the globalists like it, you know, so, but I mean, they can't stop what's coming, right? So, uh, I guess it's a race against time. Uh, we'll have to see how that goes. So Bitcoin dominance is at 66.2. Oh, I forgot to mention. Oh yeah. So basically this is actually, I mean, it's still shitty, right? Seven, but at least it's a, a, still above the bear market lows, but obviously the normies are still not very interested right now. Bitcoin dominance is at 66.2%, uh, and of course, this stupid game crashed. 66.2%. Um, uh, 24-hour uh, volume is at a whopping 126.1 billion, so it's actually a lot. Uh, wow, okay. So, uh, yeah, a lot of trading. Oh, also today was Brexit day. So I actually haven't really been keeping track of it because obviously I'm not doing political videos anymore. And some and the news sources that I check out don't actually uh, cover breaks too much. I guess maybe consider it a little too much uh, Black Pill, the site's owner. Though he's much better White Pill than most other right-wing uh, sources I check. Because the sources I have are either they're fake right, so there's no point reading them at all, or they're... Uh, uh, I guess they call themselves the dissident writer or whatever. Uh, they tell you the truth, but they're overly black pilled. So it's like you know, it's like take your pick, right? Would you rather die from margarine or butter, right? Uh, would you rather have cancer or uh, or uh, what's butter do? Uh, cause a heart attack, kind of thing. Yeah. So uh, there's as always, there's no uh, fun little uh, compromising middle ground. So what are you gonna do? Because I wanted to fill that middle ground, but I guess God does not want me doing that. Or what I consider the middle ground may not actually be middle ground enough for him. Uh, so I don't know. Well, I'll have to still figure it out. It'll take some time. So anyway, Bitcoin has dropped back a little bit to 9308, which isn't really that bad. It was going like, what, 9400 to 95 at most and before it uh, dropped back down to 9300. So far, this pullback is just very slight, so that's pretty good. And considering how much trade volume there is, that basically means a lot of people want crypto, but, you know, they're just doing a little bit of profit-taking. Uh, well, nice to see Bitcoin Cash and SV go down. Um, I forgot which one, but I, I didn't like either of them, because, like, they're both run by scammers anyway. So, uh, yeah. Oh, I remember that thing I told you about, about, about not gambling? Well, how would you feel now finding out that you're down 3 to 8%, you know, right? You know, so... There's a reason why I tell you not to gamble. Oh, and guess what? Guess what's up today, right? Despite what's happening, right? Litecoin, it's up 3.25% because it's $67.77. Uh, at peak, uh, it was actually up to like, I think almost $70 or something. So it's still pulling back a bit, but hey, I'm pretty happy with slow, steady gains, right? And this is really, this is really fast, but in cryptocurrency space, slow, steady gains is basically like three to 6% instead of like 20, 25%. So that, that's why I love cryptocurrency so much is because it's just so much better than traditional assets where basically you just don't earn any money. So it's like, well, what, what the hell's the point, right? Uh, there are obviously exceptions. Like if you're rich, then you can buy like, uh, you know, um, uh, if you're rich, you could buy like real estate or something, right? But, you know, um, I mean, that's the thing. You have to be rich in the first place. And we're probably here because we're trying to get even more rich and money so we can buy whatever we want. Right? In my case, it'll be commercial real estate. Right? I'm not going to be a dumbass and then just buy like a really expensive big house that doesn't produce income. So now I just have a, like a really large mortgage to pay off. So my monthly my monthly expenses intensify. So it's like, what was the point of making all that money? Right? I, I need to I need my money to be making more money so I don't have to worry about money. 
right? And once I have good enough cash flow, then I can buy all the big stupid stuff if that's what I want. In my case, I'm happy with a kind of big house, right? You know, what, 1,800 to 3,000 square feet. I don't know, how, I mean, well, however big my parents' house is, that's like big enough. Dollar coin is at two, eh, a little, it's basically a little under 295 million market cap. All right, hold on, I gotta deal with this because fucking Star Wars Galaxy, yeah, of course it fucking crashed. Ah, so, so, so annoyed. Like, this emulator that I play on is so bad and unstable, but it's the only one that I can actually play the game on. Uh, so, all right, well, I'll just set it to that. All right, hopefully it'll stop freaking crashing. All right, so anyway, uh, Dogecoin, 295 mil. Uh, Steam cryptocurrency is at 16.15 cents, so not too many big gains. And then EOS is down. I'm still annoyed with EOS because I still cannot access my, you know, small amount of EOS because of the CPU problem. So it's like, ugh. It, and yeah, it's still worth something. <clears throat> it really kind of annoys me, like, how something so crappy, like, is still considered valuable. It's like, what kind of pisses me off? Like, I wish that, you know, 2 by 2 4 4 JMC coin would get that same benefit, but I guess not. All right, so good stuff. Can is down 16 cents, but so is the markets, right? They're actually down quite a bit. Pro I, I still actually think it might be because of Brexit. Uh, let me see. Uh, let's go to Finance Home real quick. Uh, Finance Live, Coronavirus, Delta suspends China flights as U.S. issues uh travel warning wait u.s issues travel warning is delta suspends china flights okay because it oh yeah so i guess people are still getting more paranoid about the coronavirus it is actually getting worse though but stocks tumble coronavirus cases near ten thousand. yeah like i don't know what the hell china was working on when uh they like as i actually believe it was a bioweapon right that was kind of derived from sars and then, I, I, like, some people think they were trying to create, like, a bioweapon against our people. I think they were trying to create a vaccine, and then they fucked up, and then now it's all loose throughout the whole world. Uh, and then they also happen to, because there's actually a big biolab in Wuhan, China, right? So, you know, but also in Wuhan, China, they just happen to actually enjoy eating, like, bats and wolves or whatever, like, really crazy sick stuff that they should not be doing, right? It makes my race look bad. So, you know, there's a very convenient scapegoat, and you can't really tell the difference either way. So, uh, but that being said, you know, people are still, uh, you know, they're still working on it. So, uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll see, all right? Whatever it is, just do not go to China, all right? You know, unless you have a really extreme reason to, right? You should not be traveling to China, all right? Because, you know, the last thing we need is more people getting infected. Because they already have some, like, what, two people now infected in Chicago? All right, so you know, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. It's uh, what was I gonna say? Yeah, in fact, there's nothing here about breaks it, so no one is even thinking about it. Uh, with that being said, because I actually think breaks it might actually be another factor in this too, but it's not even being acknowledged. So that I find that kind of interesting. Yeah, but whatever it is, I already mentioned it in previous couple of videos already the past couple of days, but I'll reiterate. The globals have a very huge incentive to control this virus, all right? They don't want this thing to spread because if it, go, if it goes pandemic level, like actual pandemic, and we all get infected or whatever, including me, I 100% guarantee you that what's going to happen is, yes, there'll probably be hysteria and riots and whatever, but it's also going to force a lot of people to become extremely right-wing and truthful. They'll just say the whole thing. I'll even just not care and then just start start up my BitChute channel and start going uh, full uh, full Wignet mode or whatever you want to call it. Because it's like, well, it's either I do that and then survive or then die from the virus. So what do you think most what do you think most people are gonna choose, right? So the globalists think they they can't control they can barely contain like, you know, with the censorship what they have now. What the hell do you think is gonna happen when like they have like hundreds of millions of people all saying this, screaming the same shit? Right, the jig will be up. So the globalists do not want that because their entire, uh, you know, new world order bullshit uh, is going to like evaporate pretty much instantly. So, yeah, because it's because it, it's not about killing people, right? Not for the globalists, not really. You know, it's about controlling people. You cannot control people if they're if you kill them all. All right, you know, it's like that's just not how it works. Uh, not anymore.
right? When they want to kill people, then they try to get the fake news terrorist organizations, you know, your Fox News, your CNN, you know, all the cable news networks, etc. Uh, and of course, Newsweek and Huffington Post, basically all the major publications, right, of the world. And they get you to think, oh, we should go invade whatever country, right? And usually a popular target is a country in the Middle East, right? That's what the whole Iran bullshit was about, right? Ven they tried that with Venezuela. They also tried to create a civil war in China with the China-Hong Kong bullshit. Right? And again, I covered this on my political videos. So, you know, uh, whatchamacallit. You know, so, so when the globalists want to kill people, that's what they do, right? But luckily, you know, for now, we still can kind of just stop that because of social media again. Right? And most people just do not want wars, right? It doesn't matter their political affiliation. They just, they just don't want any wars. So, you know, they're having a pretty tough time. And now that they have this pandemic shit, well, I mean, <laughs> you know, uh, what we, we do you think's going to happen, right? So uh, that's why I'm still not uh, worried. Uh, I would start worrying, though, if, like, you know, there was an outbreak here in New York City and then they fucked up and then we're all screwed. Uh, you could bet that I'm going to immediately just drop whatever I'm doing take a little bit of my money or whatever, and then just hop on a train to, like, Florida or something. Like, I'm going to head right to Penn Station and then just take a train, right? I'll probably tell my family to do the same exact fucking thing. Uh, so, anyway, uh, Grace Scale is also down a little bit and no options. So, I really want to know, when did this become publicly available to trade? Hmm. Let's see. GBTC, when did it become public to trade? Because I tried, I, I was thinking I was trying to get this. Uh, the, 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 the publicly traded shares Bitcoin are officially trading on their ticker of GBTC. Okay, so why didn't this show up for me before? So this thing has been trading a long time, but the stupid SEC has refused to offer options on this. So that's worthless to us. So that probably means we might not get options for this too. Ah, the globalists, they never want to let us get uh, rich. All right, well, I guess we might have to really do uh, use stupid Ledger X then with like their insane fees. Um, that really sucks. I think maybe by, you know, the middle of the bull run, we'll take a serious look at Ledger X. Like I'll definitely sign up for my account by then and take a look. That's more than enough time. That's like, what, 12 months from now? Uh, there'll definitely be more than enough time to see if options will come out for GBTC and uh, CAN. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, JFC coins at two to three. So, of course, it's not really recovering. Uh, oh, I do want to mention that I talked to Crex, and they actually do do coin swap services. And it's a, a lot cheaper, too. So, if I, if I wanted to, we could actually uh, just swap out all these coins. Um, so, that's something I want to uh, take a look. In fact, let me reread the email. I'm not going to show the email, obviously. Uh, let me see, what did, um, let me delete my reply here, uh, delete this message, alright, uh, okay, I'm not going to reveal the fee, because I think they want me to keep that secret, so, but it's very affordable, alright, well, relatively affordable, it's definitely cheaper than Trade Satoshi, excuse me, okay, um, let's see, they need the new coin name and ticker and the swap ratio. So in this case, it'll be very extreme. Uh, the new wallet, Twitter with swap announcement, Bitcoin talk, uh, Discord, Kennedy, Crux 20. Okay. Um, coin market cap, coin gecko. Uh, shoot. Yeah, but swaps are still going to be kind of annoying because we have to update all like the coin gecko and coin market cap and all those listing types. So it gets uh, it gets very uh, very very messy. But I mean, you have to do it if you want to save a crypto. It's also a lot cheaper to do that than uh, actually list. I just realized. So swaps are good. Um, all right. So because Bitcoin is down, obviously uh, for four coins finally had a little breathing room. So now it's back up to 14 to 15. It's still pretty undervalued. So it should really be around 17 to 20. Um, you know, but uh, well, whatever it is, at least people are now buying. Uh, if Bitcoin goes up, though, let's see where are we at 20 minutes. If Bitcoin goes back up, though, you can expect Bitcoin or four or four coin to continue to slide downward because a lot of people have just been dumping this coin like crazy. Someone actually deposited like 62 million 404 coins and put the whole thing for sale before removing the order. So I know there's a lot of 404 coin waiting to be sold on uh, Crex, unfortunately. 
Uh, but all that being said, you know, uh, 15 will get eaten up, 16 I think will be kind of partially eaten up, and then we'll see uh, what happens. If Bitcoin continues to stay at this price or go down even a little bit, we should see a pretty nice price spike for 404 coin. That's when I'll probably move in and try to, you know, capture, uh, you know, some profits here. Uh, so we'll see. Um, but and then it'll continue to go back down because, again, there's technically no use case for these cryptos. So it's uh, going to be very vulnerable to these price swings. Right. At least until I can get I can get a working prototype for my game up. And that's not coming out for at least a couple of months, maybe a little longer than that, because I mean, there's a lot of shit to learn. You know, I learned fast, but it's it's really dense. And, you know, I'm learning a new like, you know, between having to learn the Christianity stuff and then learning like a highly IQ, highly technical thing such as computer programming, specifically C sharp. Like, uh, like here, I'll show you. Let me show you an example right now. New C sharp. All right. Here, just take a look at this and tell me if you can understand anything this thing is tell saying, all right? All right, because basically I was getting confused because there's something in C-sharp, like in C++, because that's actually my programming background, we call it a function. In C-sharp, it's called a method, and it just looks something like, where can I, where can I type this shit in? Uh, I, I guess you can see up here. Uh, let's see, method, and then open close parenthesis semicolon right I mean, it might be a little hard to see actually um uh okay because i don't want a method c sharp all right so method is a code block contains a series of statements program blah 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 blah. but basically it's a function or pro or a set of code that inside the method or function in this case right i, I still call it a function but it's really called a method it just does stuff, right? You, t it, it, you know, you have a you have a set of statements. That's what it's called. The lines of code that just tell the program go do this, add that, you know, or check condition, blah 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 blah. The problem is a method, the syntax, which is how I wrote it up here, looks very similar to when I have to use something called the new operator in C sharp, and that was confusing the shit out of me. It still kind of confuses me, but I'm getting a little better about it because I'm creating new rules in my head. To like go okay so if i'm calling a method i don't have to use the new uh if i'm if i'm if i'm inputting variables or arguments inside the parameter which is the things inside the parenthesis then i have to use the new keyword now if if you had no idea what the hell i just said for like the past couple like two minutes describing this uh, yeah that's exactly the point because this shit is really fucking hard <laughs> right so uh but yeah i'm able to understand it so it's like uh this is just like yeah so you know the game won't be out for at least a couple of months and that's probably a very fast estimate right i'll take as much time as i need to though obviously because ultimately the game not only has to be good and fun but also has to obviously be bug free because you cannot play a game that has got bugs right like there are some bugs that don't really affect your gameplay and then there are bugs it's like oh i actually cannot play the game or it's you know i point my gun and then it goes like backwards or something right you know the bullet goes backwards it's not supposed to do it. it's supposed to go forwards so like you have to program all that shit so but yeah, i mean it'll, it'll be good though when it comes out it'll be good you know i'll get the free traffic whatever get the game reviews now that you know i'm not doing crazy political shit with bit shoot Right? I mean, people will obviously find my Bitcoin videos like, this this stupid fucking developer is a right-wing guy. Hey, fuck this guy's game, right? I mean, you'll still have idiots like that. But then, you know, you know, because I'm still relatively safe, it's like, well, it's not that bad. And then, you know, liberals should be like, you know, right? But, uh, but then you got the independents, and then, of course, you have the conservatives. So, you know, they'll still make up uh, pretty well. So I, th I, th I think, it, I, you know, I could still operate a game with just two-thirds of the political spectrum. So, you know, I got, I got my bases covered. Um, but, but yeah. Uh, oh, and then also the database will be using the same thing as Albion Online, which is a game I still kind of play-ish, right? Uh, and, uh, and then... Apparently, I have to use something called a Cassandra database because it scales very well. So, like, if the game gets really big, the database will easily be able to scale, add more computers, so it can handle all the new data and players. So it'll just be very seamless and painless. And that's what we want. And then I have to use something called Azure PlayFab to actually manage everyone's inventory and stuff, which is also run by Microsoft, which also has the Cassandra database. So it's, it's like it's like perfect uh so uh it's gonna be good it's gonna be very it's gonna be very very good 
Uh, I think I already went over this. So 4-4, uh, if we're lucky, it'll reach 17 to 18. Because um, it'll definitely probably eat away at 15. But again, you know, we'll see what happens with Bitcoin within the next 24 hours. 2x2 two two coins at 56 to uh, 60. So it's still pretty stable. Uh, so again, I was actually very surprised to not see Brexit mentioned at all. Everyone's still getting kind of scared about the stupid coronavirus. Uh, compound coin is at 44 yeah, 4450 to a little like 5400. So it's still the same thing with compound coin. And again, no real buys, just mostly sells. So, uh, yeah, nothing happened with compound. Yeah, so basically going forward, um, I don't know. I'll have to think about what I'm going to do when I, uh, at, cause like I have to pay a 10,000 euro fee to coinpayments.net, right? And then I have to select which cryptocurrency we're going to use. Uh, and it's just something I'm going to have to like figure it out uh let's see um oh that, that's it so there's not really a whole lot of news but um just want to read some headlines and this article we will be reading so bitcoin investors beware crack and find a way to hack into treasure 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 hardware wallets so basically this hack only works if they steal the wallet all right so this is actually this is not a problem now but it'll definitely become a problem later uh and then basically there's nothing the company can do right because they use some crazy voltage glitch or whatever and the only way to get around that is to have a actual passphrase enabled uh for your uh, uh treasure wallet so and, and then that way if they steal it you know it's like well there's a passphrase so you know what are we gonna you know so they won't be able to steal that so that's how you get around it but um yeah, if you have one of these things, you might want to actually uh, put a password on it, which I really hate in general, but, you know, it's just how it goes sometimes. All right, so uh, Bitcoin's bubble will burst. Uh, I don't even know what this is. I thought this was about Bitcoin. It's just about Elon Musk. Uh, tracking movements. New crypto app aims to make everyone's bank account speak Bitcoin. Yeah, so, you know, there's a lot of programs out there that, I mean, Google and Apple are still allowing a lot of cryptocurrency apps on their uh, platform. So and there's going to be more crypto apps. So it's going to be interesting to see how the censorship uh, go uh, works going forward. Because yesterday I did a thing about Bitcoin Blast, right? But from the way it looks, they were just supposed to pay out stuff. And then I'm guessing they refused to pay people out. And then, yeah, Google got too many complaints. So they're, so they're like, all right, screw this. PayPal exec says Federal Reserve System needs fe uh, fundamental change, so I can't, you know, it's like I used to be a little careful, so shit pal, right? You know, they censor people and like fuck them. Uh, but at least they're telling the financial committee that the Federal Reserve System does need a fundamental change. It does, because it's slow, it's stupid, it's like I don't want to use it anymore, right? You know, like uh, when you do the ACH, uh, the electronic debit system for the Federal Reserve to fund your like stock accounts, that's what I usually have to use it for. Or when I sell crypto to fiat, right? You know, that's still the Federal Reserve ACH system. It takes forever for my money to arrive in my bank account. It's like I really, I really freaking hate it. Right? It, it's stupid and it's slow. So uh, yeah, so that would be another reason why you know the Federal Reserve needs to make America coin so that like it'll just go a lot faster. Warren Buffett's pal is rebooting largest Bitcoin exchange in India, so that's pretty good. Some more fundamentals, especially in India, right? Because India is the Indian government is very hostile to crypto, but the people of India mostly want cryptocurrency. So this is uh, again very good. And the Indian government's not stupid. They're like, well, all these rich people from America and the West want to come and invest in our country. We kind of need their money. So what do we do? It's like, uh, okay, we're going to have to let them go. <laughs> right. So that's how, that's how it always goes. And obviously that's very good for all of us. Right. Fundamentals get stronger. Right. Bitcoin to $1 million. Right. So uh, like, I don't make that number up out of thin air. Right. You know, there, there's an actual fundamental reason why I think that, right. If the entire world jumps into Bitcoin and cryptocurrency in general. Yeah. Bitcoin will hit a million dollars. And then the, that and that's like the peak, the bull run peak, the frenzy. So that's how we 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 sell on the frenzy and we buy and we short or buy at like the dips or the going down thing, right? That's why I'm constantly you know looking at the options so we can short Bitcoin later, all right? And we're we're going to short it, all right? I am going to short it, all right? God gave us a, a, a rare opportunity and it only comes once every like few years, every like ten years, right? So we better take advantage. 
This Bitcoin compare pumped, uh, oh, okay, so there's Craig Wright, so fuck that guy. Uh, and then just some other miscellaneous stuff. Where are we at anyway? 30 minutes. How long is this article? Uh, it's kind of long. All right, let's try to skim it. Bitcoin will be $8 trillion by 2030. Top wealth manager explains why. Uh, the cryptocurrency could take away a part of capital from all leading markets. That's partially true. They include gold shares, fiat, offshore assets, and demonetized store values like real estate. He had he had that investors to export Bitcoin also because of the new use cases as technology grows in the next decade. Yeah, so this is he's pretty much saying he's pretty much saying what I actually kind of believe. However, he leaves out that uh, when you create new technology, you also create value out of thin air. So yes, Bitcoin and crypto right now is taking twenty four hour like in this case. 126 billion dollars in this case it's taking money away from the forex currency exchanges but it also generates a uh, value at the same time right like how do you really measure bitcoin being sold for say let's say one bitcoin you sold it right now for nine thousand three hundred uh, and eight dollars that's nine hundred three hundred that's nine thousand three hundred eight dollars both in the cryptocurrency market and the fiat currency market, right, which will be included in the forex, you know, the foreign currency exchange daily trade volume of like, what is it, eight trillion, eight point eight trillion dollars per day? Well, how do you measure that? You now have to add both numbers. So, yes, it's taking away, but it's also giving back too, right? And it's like, you know, this is why money can sometimes be very, very complicated, which I also find very fascinating, right? I, I love the game of money, and I hope that when I create my game uh you know i create a very solid you know robust player economy too you know so it'll be it'll be it'll be funded for me to design i'll just spend all my time coding you know new items and shit and then just laughing at uh like you know the five streamers you know with like their 10 viewers or whatever that uh that's like damn it i had like a 10 million credit raid and then like i just lost it all because i just lost to another player damn it <laughs> You know, it's uh, it's gonna be pretty cool and fun to watch, right? I gotta get that uh, you know hand rubbing uh, hand rubbing thing going, right? So uh, yeah, it's gonna it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun, you know. It's gonna be a lot of fun, you know. Essentially, I'm playing God, but I recognize that I'm not a God, right? But I can be like God, right? So you know that that's that's kind of like. Hmm. That's how that's how, that's basically how it goes. All right, you know, uh, man was made in God's image, so you know, so uh, yeah, it'll be kind of cool, and, and then that opens up your perspective in life too. It's like, oh, okay, so you know, uh, I don't know. I was gonna say an example, but yeah, like if I had a wife, I had a kid, I actually have to start thinking about other things too. So you know, I'm trying to like prepare myself for you know uh, the eventuality. Yeah, the investors are explore Bitcoin also because, oh, I read that. Uh, Micro payments, lightning, whack work, blah, 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 blah. Bitcoin FOMO 2.0. Uh, fear of miss, oh, fear of missing out 2.0. Uh, a lot of media, fake news sites were calling Bitcoin the best investment of decade ending 2019. Yeah, of course. But by the time you read this, it's obviously too late, right? You know, there's going to be one more bull run, at least with this current bull run. But depending on actually what happens and how it happens, it may be the last time we can actually uh, benefit from this. But we'll have to, again, we'll have to see. Entering 2020, Bitcoin is among the leading gainers, even so mounting global geopolitical, blah, 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 blah. Cryptocurrencies, uphill prop downs, to call it a new form of save asset, which investors choose. Is, uh, okay, I don't care, nevertheless. Bitcoin's major upside in the last decade came on the back of FOMO, of fear missing out. The former hedge fund manager cited it as hyper Bitcoinization caused by notorious ICO boom of the late 2017. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. But yeah, these ICOs are going really crazy. Um, but it doesn't actually matter because if you if if you're not alive long enough, right? You know, I don't know, 20 may not be enough. Like 30, 40 years, right? I'm 37 now, right? You've seen your fair share of booms and busts, bubbles and uh, bursts, right? Dot com bubble and boom and burst. Uh, the real estate boom and bust, right? The Great Recession of 2008. What's common about all of this? There's always a bubble and then it pops, right? It doesn't actually matter what it is, right? You know, uh, people will always want to come up with some sort of bullshit, right? And then it goes up and then it, and it you know, blow, uh, and then it goes up and then it blows up or, you know, or blows down, right? It crashes. 
all right you know it's kind of it's a little bit like tv also like there's always this one tv show that everybody in the world has to watch right before it was the sopranos now it's then it was game of thrones and then now it's uh the world's looking for the next big tv show it's always the same thing right human beings always want to collectively you know uh what's the word, verbs i'm looking for you know humans always want to coalesce around like this one big thing right and then you know because it's like a big social event thing right and it's the same thing with money right though people don't think of it as a social event uh but kind of is it's like oh well you know i i, I want to get in on crypto too it's like hey honey like, are you in a cryptocurrency and then you go to your barber you talk to him about it so it's very social right so everyone's talking about it back then it was you know dot com stocks uh and then when it bursted they probably all started bitching about it and then 2008 leading up to 2008 recession people were talking about real estate it was the same thing and pretty soon it's going to be cryptocurrency so we're going to be smart we're going to make a lot of money off of it all right at that point my game should be out uh, i should probably have some kind of fame and then i can start uh proceeding with god's plan thereafter you know from uh, from that point right because i imagine i imagine people will probably recognize hey this jensen chan guy is probably pretty good at bitcoin we should probably interview him. and then at that point i have to decide you know how i want to play it right so we'll worry about that but i figure i'll play it in the future the way i'm playing it now it's like oh yeah you know it's uh it's uh, it's basically over you know you you've missed you've all missed the boat so now you have to actually do work for it for a living uh anyone want to learn to code <laughs> i might be high i i'm i'm, I'm hiring right <laughs> and that's actually what i would have to say because that's the truth Contradictory analysis, yeah, blah, 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 no underlying value. Uh, Crypto is going to go to zero because this guy's retarded. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so, all right. So, yeah, nothing really new, but uh, I guess it was just a summary, but it was pretty good. Yeah, but basically, uh, Bitcoin and crypto generate value, and they also take value out. And it's kind of hard to measure it, right, because of how you want to measure uh, accounting and all that stuff. But with that being said, um, I guess a hypothetical would be if you're doing foreign currency exchange, well, maybe instead of doing that, right, you're going to just use cryptocurrency. It's a lot cheaper. So who who misses out on that? Because the because the foreign because the total amount of money, you know, spreading around the world is either the same or increasing, right? Because people are still using money, but the people who miss out on it would be like, excuse me, like let's say. Um, Watch my, oh, good. Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes has not crashed. Uh, you know, that, that foreign currency kiosk, right? Because one time I went to Trump Tower and they had a foreign currency kiosk, right? You could trade like 200 different currencies for US dollars. Well, you know, if everyone's using crypto, that kiosk goes out of business because no one's using, you know, paper money anymore, right? They're using crypto instead to do the same thing. Now, of course, that kiosk, it's also run by Trump, obviously, right? So, they're not stupid, so they'll eventually just do the same thing. They'll all adopt cryptocurrency. So it's like there's a loss, but not really. You just you just change with the times. It's it's really not that bad. Plus, it's technology. So like us programmers have to deal with the difficulty problem. All you people have to do is just learn how to push a button, and then everything works, right? You know. So you get you guys get it easy. I have to actually figure out uh, how to code that button so it does all this all the stupid shit you want it to do. So, and, and that's just how technology goes. And it's, ve it's very, very nice. It's actually very, very nice. So anyway, uh, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash the lemon factor BTC. So thank you to the one person that subscribed. I think maybe we were at 183 yesterday as well. Uh, I don't even know. Uh, I guess I don't really care as much anymore because again, it's like eh, you, you, YouTube. So anyway, uh, enjoy the rest of your day or night. This is kind of a long video. I thought it was going to be short, but that's all right. You know, we uh, talk a little bit about Jesus Christ. We talk about what I'm learning. We talk about updates about the crypto, you know, just in general, all the stuff. So very, very good stuff. So anyway, I got to go and do my Albion online stuff because like, you know, it operates on a 22 hour renewal cycle. So I want to make sure I claim my rewards. All right. So. See you all in tomorrow's videos. Uh, I already said enjoy the rest of your day or night. And uh, thanks for watching. Yep. Thanks. Johnson Chad, JFC Coin, 404 Coin. And I forgot. We're going to actually need a... Uh, uh, you know what? I, I like this thumbnail. 
uh, you know, eventually I hope that someday I'll be pushing my video game tab over here too. So, uh, yeah, so I gotta, gotta get to work. I gotta get to work.